I'm Rob Whitfield with the Orange County Register and welcome to OC in 2 for Monday, October 27th. Crystal Cathedral founder, the Reverend Robert H. Schuler, told his congregation Sunday that his son Robert A. Schuler will no longer be the preacher of the church's weekly syndicated TV broadcast, Hour of Power citing a lack of shared ideas and vision for the ministry as the reason. The broadcast will now feature a guest pastor each week. It's a scary Halloween for retailers. Despite forecasts that sales of Halloween costumes, props, and decorations would be up, local retailers say they aren't seeing the increase. Retailers are now hoping that last minute shopping will reverse the downward trend. Santa Ana police are asking for your help to find this man who surprised a Chevron night clerk from behind and robbed the station at gunpoint. The robbery took place October 13th at 1 a.m. in the 3300 block of South Bristol Street. If you recognize this man or have any information, please call the Santa Ana Police Department. This weekend, 53 local dancers dressed as the living dead participated in a worldwide simultaneous dance involving 91 cities in 12 countries around the world. The second annual Thrill the World is an attempt to set a world record for the largest simultaneous dance to the Michael Jackson song Thriller. And organizers are confident they'll break the record. Last year's event organized 1,722 people worldwide. And this year's early numbers topped 4,000. UC Irvine has broken ground on one of the largest stem cell research centers in the nation. A $66.6 million institute where researchers and clinicians will work side by side to find ways to use the cells to treat disease and injury. The four-story gross hall is largely due to the generosity of taxpayers who provided $27 million through Proposition 71 and private donors who gave about $23 million. Construction is expected to finish in 2010. And South Coast Plaza's Christmas tree has been hoisted into place. The 60-year-old, 96-foot-tall white fir from Mount Shasta took two days to get here and was lifted into place by a 200-foot-tall crane in Town Center Park. About 20,000 colored lights will be added to the tree over the next three weeks, and the official tree lighting ceremony, including the arrival of Santa Claus, will be November 20th. And you can read more about all of these stories and get your breaking news throughout the day at ocregister.com.